so we're back here in the garage <clears throat> um want to give you guys a quick update on the tj for those of you that are just tuning in um i'm with three cool outdoor we're a veteran nonprofit out of yukon um, our goal is aiming towards getting veterans behind the wheel of off-road rigs and we've got one of them right here that we've been working on for the last i don't know a month three weeks maybe and uh literally like working every night on it till 7 30 in the morning and then another several hours in the afternoon coming back to it <clears throat> um unfortunately we didn't make our event at what was it the jeep invasion in downtown okc so the hiccups we ran into is one of them you see sitting here is the fuel pump so we we installed the TJ has a 350 with an MV4500 and 241 T case. We went from a TBI 350 to carb conversion. So the first night we went to fire it up, fired up okay, and then we noticed we didn't have fuel pressure. So literally 12 o'clock, <clears throat> 1 o'clock in the morning, we went over to a couple of buddies' houses and we got new fuel pumps and threw them in. The problem is... So, this is the old, I'll find those in a second, or I won't. This is the old style fuel pump sending unit that we had. This is from the TJ itself. Um, the ones that we were given to try out are these other ones right here. So... Every time I touch it, it falls apart. Um, these are from a Camaro or a Corvette. They actually had already had E85 ran through them for, I think he said, about a thousand miles, but were basically new. Um, so what we did is we dropped it in, and our cap actually fit over this. We just had to trim this tab off, do a little bit of trimming around here, and then just dropped right in. That was great, except for this pickup literally stuck like that far off the bottom of the tank well just so happened the morning of the event that we're trying to get to we ran out of fuel to that point had we had the stock fuel pump we wouldn't have we would have picked up enough fuel so we said screw it we'll just go ahead and take this back out it was a temporary replacement anyway to get us through the weekend and since we're not making the event we'll just go ahead and put the new fuel pump and let's see here so that's what came out of it it's kind of corroded pretty nasty um it's shot so we were seeing literally like i don't know three psi and we should have been seeing more like 20 or more um this fuel pump we saw when it had fuel when it had fuel we were seeing 80 psi on the regulator and then we could narrow that down or tailor it down to um i think we wanted like 20 so we would bring that down to 20 and then the carb side we could bring that down to about six to seven um so what i'm gonna do now is just put the old style back in if i can find a good work surface here so i didn't take this apart if you watched our previous video, Jeff Schmidt started taking this apart, and he was running on, see, he went to work, he said at like 3 or 4 on Friday, and he was working on this on, would have been 6 in the evening on Saturday, so he was up for over 24 hours, and trying to put this on, he was sitting here, just kind of going through the motions but not really doing a whole lot so um he was very tired and uh he couldn't get it all put back together so i'm only going to attempt to do it without knowing exactly how it went together i can find the parts that fell off did you see everything fell off because uh, i didn't see anything i heard it I don't know if that's all of it. I think we're missing a spring. Yes. 
Comment down below if you saw where our parts went. Oh, hey, spring right below me. Nice. Yeah, nice. I honestly have no idea how this went together. Um, I have a feeling we're probably not going to have a working fuel gauge after this. Um, we'll have a working fuel pump. That's it. I've got the fuel pump in. I've got it wired up from what I think it's gonna be. Um, all I did is I twisted these wires together. I didn't, I didn't legitimately do cramps or anything because the idea is I just wanna make sure that we've got fuel pressure, make sure it's all operating. And then we have a motor built fuel cell that we're gonna be mounting in this. So all this is going right back out and be dumped inside of our fuel cell and the fuel cells to be mounted. So we're getting rid of the stock tank back here. So I'm gonna go flip the switch real fast and see if we got fuel pressure. That don't sound right. Pump sounds dry. Wonder if it's possible to have these backwards. Sounded like a blender. We ain't blending anything. Let's see. This guy. And let's get. Don't forget this one too much. Let's see what happens. Needs fuel. Okay, so the pump's working. Um, I don't want to run it too long because I think it is low on fuel. So I want to go get some more fuel before I uh, continue to suck it dry. Um, please don't take that out of context. <laughs> um, so if you run a pump too long dry, it'll actually burn it up. And I think that's what happened with the old one. So when we went on our test drive, we got to top of rock face. And I hadn't ran this very long. And I was going to go get fuel at Lake earlier than that day. We kept having issues, kept having issues, and I ended up not getting fuel, and we ran out of the top of the rock face. Somebody had some, so we put some in it, but I think the pump was already too far gone to save it. So um, I think that's what happened with the first one. So hopefully this doesn't happen with this one. Now that I know it's working, um, we're going to take everything back out and put it in the fuel cell and uh, go from there. So thanks for following along. Follow, like, subscribe, all the, the good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.